it's Pelleo today and I hope you guys like the preview of this Xerox grunge effect that I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make today. And if you guys don't know, I have a website called editingvisuals.com where we have, you know, some pretty cool editing packs in my opinion that's going to help you elevate your editing game even more. So be sure to check it out. Now let's start with the tutorial. So yeah, here I'm in Altifex. I've added some footage. I'm going to be yeah, showcasing the Xerox grunge effect here. And what we're going to be doing is start off by making a adjustment layer. And I'm going to press Control alt y to make a adjustment layer. That's the shortcut for making one. And I'm going to start off by adding sapphire grain. You guys can of course use noise or add grain, uh, the normal like After Effects effects. But I think the sapphire grain is very, very much better than the uh, normal effect so I'm going to be using the, it for this tutorial and I'm going to set the color amplitude here to 0 0.175 just like that and after that I'm going to be increasing the color frequency to 350 so we get this grungy look there and after that I'm going to be adding curves and here I'm just going to be adding a tiny brightness boost here just a small touch there and after that I'm going to be adding a posterize and here I'm going to be dragging it down to 2 and you guys will get this kind of look and this already is a pretty cool xerox grunge effect but i'm going to be changing the colors a little bit and i'm going to do that by adding cc toner and here on tones change it to a pen tone and the highlights i'm going to go with a red color there so it's going to look something like that the bright is going to be white mid tones a purple pink there dark tones going to be some whitish color here something like that you will get this look here. Looks pretty, pretty good so far. And if you guys like the grunge look, I actually have a pretty big time saver for you guys. And that's the grunge preset pack that I recently updated. And I'm going to be yeah, showcasing some effects from that pack. So if I just make an adjustment layer, control y And here I have some yeah pretty, pretty cool grunge presets. One of my favorite effects is the dark pixel grunge. And this is how the dark pixel grunge is going to look a very very cool grunge effect here and that's just one of the effects from that pack you guys could add the let's see there's so many effects here now it's it's uh, you know hard to choose this is the saturation grunge a little bit too bright for my taste so i'm just going to be adding curves so another adjustment layer drag it under drag down the brightness a little bit and it's going to look something like this here pretty really good in my opinion we could also add the dark low res grunge a little bit too dark for my taste so, as always, add the adjustment layer, curves, increase the brightness. And this is the look you guys get with the dark low-res grunge. A really, really cool grunge effect here. And, uh, and yeah, if you guys are interested in these presets, want to check out the grunge preset pack, it's going to be available on editingvisuals.com. And I actually have a discount code for you guys. It's going to be PELLE. If you use that code, you guys will save $5 on the pack. Now for this Xerox grunge effect. The last things I'm going to be doing is adding CC Threshold. And here I'm going to change the channel to RGB and drag this one up to 160 there. This is the difference here. It's going to be a little bit more uh, colored. And after that, add Posterize Time because we want to get this laggy kind of photo look to this. So I'm setting the frame rate to 12. So this is how the effect looks. Really, really cool. If you guys want to, you know, elevate your clips even more. You guys could add some shake to this. I have shake sauce too. So you could go into keyframed. If you have you know seen my tutorials, I've already shown how to make the flicker shake. So you just double click. Boom, it's going to add a shake. Go to the next transition point. Flicker shake. Last one, flicker shake. You don't need to use flicker shake. That's just you know one uh, custom effect I made. Uh, but you know you guys can see there's a ton of other shakes here. If you guys want to use that, it's going to look something like this here. A yeah, pretty, pretty cool look in my opinion. And now if you guys want to save this as a preset, you guys can just go into your effects here, press Control A to mark all the effects, go to animation, save animation preset, type your name here, and then you just press save. And your preset will be saved so you can use it for another time. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out the Grunge Preset Pack. It's available on editingvisuals.com. And the discount code is PELLE if you guys want to save $5 on that pack. Also, don't forget to check out our socials, join our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.